Welcome back to the series on designing and 3D printing a wing. We're going to move on from the last video where we designed this. This is the infill and a surface. And we're going to, in this episode, remove material to reduce the overall weight by 40% or so, down to about 40 grams for a wing section. Right, to start, new sketch on the front plane. And you want to convert the airfoil section onto that sketch. And the next thing you want to do is you can try offset entities, click this and then reverse. And you want it about five millimeters. It depends on your printer because it's basically going to be bridging between the two gaps. My SolidWorks isn't working for this for some reason. So what we're actually going to do is search for split entities and we'll come down here and on the line of the airfoil just click on the origin and that splits this into two pieces and go offset entities and then again reverse and here you'll see it will do the whole thing in one uh, again five millimeters is about right and you want to just trim up any extra that you have. There's no need for this. Um, you'll get this items unsolvable, but that's because these two pieces are basically not quite touching. So if you zoom right in, you can make that a solid piece. You might also want to, while you're here, convert this back if you didn't convert it otherwise. Right, now you're gonna get an error. But for now, that is fine. And then what you want to do is convert entities. And then here you can see where the lines, where this infill crosses on all of them. Select the downwards vertex. And then click OK. And now you'll see that on this sketch, we have all of these converted and the outside airfoil section and the inside airfoil section. So what you can do now is to make it slightly easier is just hide the infill. That's a bit more easy to see what we're actually doing. And then you want to offset entities. So if you click on all of these vertical lines, and bidirectional and this wants to be half of whatever you had this gap to be so if you did this gap as 10 mil do this as five i did it as five so i do it as 2.5 click ok and what you can do actually is if you say offset geometry as no sorry if you do base geometry as construction then when you come into this next step you save yourself a bit of time so come up to trim entities, you just want to trim off all of the tops that you don't need anymore. And the bottoms. And that's fine. Right, so you now have this sketch, which is basically the outside, the inside, and the vertical pieces. So what I'll do is just leave that like that. Make a new sketch on the front plane and then highlight this old sketch and convert entities. And this just gives you a base to go back to in case you make a mistake. Uh, come on, trim entities and delete these extra top bits and these middle bits. And what you'll see is that as we do this, these are the sections that we're going to extrude out and cut away from the inside material. And on this bit, you can see that this would either, this bit here would otherwise be left and normally would cut like that. But because it's just so small, there's no point having it. It's just going to cause issues. So I'm going to delete that. And here you can see the basic profile of what we're going to remove from the solid bodies. So if I just show that and then on here, extruded cut and we just want to 
cut using these pieces. Let me just make sure I've got the actual. I'll do that the other way around through all. And now here you can see in that airfoil that we have a big gap where we've deleted lots of parts. And SolidWorks will let you come up onto Sketch Chamfer, uh, Distance Distance, and then this is a bit again up to your printer. You want to click on each corner. No, it won't let me. So it won't let me because this is a curved line, not a straight line. What I'm just going to do is come through and trim these curved lines. This is purely because SolidWorks, so hopefully you're using Inventor or something better than this. And I'm just going to replace those with straight lines. And what I'm actually going to do is on the front, I'm actually going to convert these this entity back in. Get this entity at that point there. So somewhere along here. And that means I can trim. That means I can select this and delete this. Look up there, that's fine. Select this and delete that. And then I can trim back here. And because this is such a curve, what I'm going to do is just manually put in the chamfer. Now it should work, so chamfer, and you should be able to just click on a corner, and it will chamfer the corners. So, 2 millimeters. I feel like I should actually go this up to 3, so I'm just going to click on 3 and see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks better. So this is basically the distance that your printer is going to bridge as it prints. So you can see that as the size gets bigger, it bridges a lot more. But really, you have to do this in the sketch, otherwise, you have to click on each of the individual vertexes that you want to chamfer if you use the feature as the 3D feature. Right, you can see right at the end, it doesn't want to do that for three millimeters, so I'm just going to drop that down to two. See if that likes that. Yep, that's fine. Okay, and now I'm just going to click OK. You can see there's quite a mess now of things that are going on. But the last thing I'm going to do is just manually draw in a chamfer here and a chamfer here. And then trim out this last little piece. Right, so this is the main body of what you need. So I'm just going to go back onto the sketch normal two. The last thing I want to do is draw a big square that just holds everything, has all of these bits and pieces in. And now you can go onto extruded cut. And this is where you have to be careful with what you're selecting. So select the big outside, then zoom in and select these inside pieces. Of the wing and if we go like this you can see that it's trying to extrude the wrong way so flip side to cut and through all and you'll see that when we click OK once it loads let's save that we have now a wing section I'm gonna hide that sketch with infill that's much more hollow and should be much more supporting of uh, a load without the extra weight of these in between pieces and so same again with uh, what we did last time save the file and then on solid bodies this is the infill so insert into new part yep okay that and this is the boss extrude, so I'll go on to STL. That's fine, I'll leave that okay. 
So this is what you can see. This is what it's going to look like in the middle, in the end. So you can see how much mass and uh, density were taken out by doing that extrude cut. And then same again, surface body. Insert, insert. Oops. Insert into new part. Okay. Okay. STL surface loft. Save that. And you can close out with that. And now we want to open Cura. Right, so now we're in Cura. Open your files. This is in tutorial 2. Both these files. Again, use the wing profile that I've put up. Select both of them, make sure they're both 0, 0. And you'll see that they should overlap. Yep, perfect. Select this infill setting, modify settings for infill with other models, and slice that. And since the last video, I have changed this uh, spar setting to be slightly less than what it was. This is now one the distance from here to here on the model is now one perimeter plus 0.2 so that's 0 0.45 plus 0.2 so 0 0.065 and you can see that it's much tighter now and so as we go up the uh, distance is a lot less but the main structure comes from this cross piece here and that as you squeeze the wing But you can see that we brought the weight down to 50 grams, and I find Cura always overdoes it, so this would typically print at like sort of 45 grams or so. And that's the next part. So this is now printable, just about as strong, and just about as uh, useful, but you just have to make sure that you tune it to your bridging settings, because as you see, as you zoom down, this layer will bridge here. This is a bridge it's trying to do. And so you just have to make sure your whichever chamfer size you have here, your printer can do that bridge. But that's it.